Okay, so guys, welcome back to the second part of the drag and drop tutorial. Now what we're actually going to do here is, first of all we have to make a decision. What event do we want to trigger the dragging? So essentially how this works is in Android is, you use some kind of event, like a, a long press or just a press, a touch, that will start the drag. And then you use that to start the drag itself. So essentially you, you go like view a, non, a long press listener and then inside that listener you actually physically start the drag. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a long click listener. So we're going to say uh, on long click listener and then we're going to say long listen. And we're just going to set it up like this. I know we could do it by making a little class for it. But we'll just import this and add our unimplemented methods. So we have our on long uh, press listener, our on long click listener, and we're pretty much ready to go here. I'm going to turn ready to go with the drag. So this is the view that we've clicked, view V. So what we can do is, in order to actually set this up, we'll get all our views that we want to put this on view by id id dot text apple and then we say dot set on click on where's long click listener there we go whoops long listen and then we're just going to copy and paste this down along for the four views and now I'm going to say id text dragon text orange id text pair now you'll see what we'll do with text target in a minute okay so that's all that done we've got a long click listener set up so they'll all use the same long click listener so this view here, so we want to actually drag that view and how you do it is you essentially say the view dot start drag. Now, unfortunately we need a series of things here. Okay, we need a series of items or objects. We need our clip data. We need our view drag shadow builder, shadow our object, local state and flags. Now the flags should be set to zero. They currently are unused in Android at the moment. We'll just set them to zero and be done with it. I'm drinking some tea by the way. I'm recording this at 20 past 11. So the first item here is the clip data. Now the clip data we're not going to use, but we have to have an object. So what we'll do is we'll just say clip data. Data equals a uh, clip dot new plain text and we'll just type in oh crap oh man I've been doing PHP lately and I'm getting I'm getting really bad with my co commas inverted commas so now we've got that ready to go so we've created our clip data now you're probably wondering what's this um the next up parameter we need is a view drag shadow builder. What the devil is that? Well, the view drag shadow builder is if you pick up an item on, oh, where would be a good example? Let's say a file manager app, okay? And when you, like, you long press to pick it up and then, like, an image moves with your finger, that's the image. So this drag shadow builder is going to be the image that's pulled with the drag itself that's actually dragged along with it so we're going to create so in order to do that we need to create a drag shadow builder so we're going to make a private class and we're going to say view or we're going to call this a uh, drag shadow equals or extend sorry view dot drag shadow builder and there we go now there's a couple of methods I need to get here and I'm actually going to open up the previous example I've done here in order to get the methods 
Oh, uh, hang on, I can just use this method shortcut. So if you press Control Alt S or Control Alt Shift S, you get uh, this, and you can just override implement methods, and we can just tick tick done. And we're also going to need a constructor. And we'll implement this constructor here. Okay. So we'll just say this is view view. Okay. And super view. Okay, so now we've got our methods in, ready to go. Just get rid of that. And we'll just move this back here. Okay. So now we're ready to go with our drag shadow, shadow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a light grey rectangle to follow us around so we can see what's going on. So in order just to draw a light grey rectangle, I suppose we could make an, a rectangle image in Photoshop, but what we're going to do is we're going to make the rectangle size depend on the size of the view being dragged and it'll be half height, half width, so it's a quarter of the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a drawable, or color drawable, and we're going to call this grey box equals, or grey box, there we go. And then we're just going to say in here, we're just going to set up the grey box. Is new color drawable. Now I believe, yeah, there we go. New color drawable. Hang on a second, I just need to check the other code. Yeah, I need to pass. I thought I needed that. I need to pass in the color light gray. So now we've created our gray box and it's ready to go. So, um, this view here, okay. So what we need to do is, the view, the drag shadow builder, okay, when we create the object up here to pass into this method, we're going to need to create, uh, we're going to need to pass it a view, which will be the view that was long clicked. So what we're going to do is, now we can actually get this view by using a uh, get view. So we're going to say view v equals get view. So because we passed a view in the constructor, we're going to get the view. Now we could just um we could very just very just as easily say view v equals this dot view. You could use that method and just store it in there, but we're just gonna do it this way. The parent class or the super class for this will store it. Anyway. So now we have got our view. So we're just gonna create two an int height equals v dot get height, so get the height of that view, and width, v dot get width. Get width. Okay, so now we've got a view and height. So you're probably wondering why are we putting this in here? Well, this sets up the shadow metrics or the shadow size. So what we want to do is we want the image or the, the gray square that's going to be dragged with the view to be half the size in height, half the size in width, and to follow your finger around, and that's it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create our box to be half the size in height and half the size in width. So we're just going to divide both of them by two. Now we're going to cast this back to an integer just in case we end up with a float, and otherwise um, Java will start yelling at us. Nope. Okay, so we've done that, ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say grey box. Dot. Yeah, I can't remember. I know it's set. Bugger. Hang on a second. I'm just going to check what the method for that damn thing was again. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Set bounds. Yep, yeah, set bounds. So set bounds will be the actual physical size of our square. So obviously zero for the left, zero. The right is going to be our width, so that's the top right of the box. And our height is going to be our bottom. 
So as you can see that there, look, it takes int left, int top, int right, int bottom. So that that's set up our box. Now, you're probably wondering what this here, point shadow size, point sh shadow touch point, what the devil is all this? Well, the shadow size is actually, we haven't actually defined how big the shadow needs to be. And we want to make it as small as possible to make it easier for the system to draw. Because if we have like a very high resolution image to be dragged around, it's going to be very laggy. But if we have a very small image or a small view that's being dragged around, it'll be much easier. So obviously we should set the shadow size to be the exact same height as our box that we want, the color drawable. That way it'll be just enough to hold it all and it'll display everything we need. So shadow size dot and then we set our x and our y so our width is x along the x-axis and our height is on the y-axis and done now what's shadow touch point well shadow touch point is what part of the image is actually being tracked so we want it in the center but you can actually i could set it to track in the top left or it says a track in the bottom right. It's the part of the image that moves with your finger. So what part of the, uh, what what, it, what point on the actual uh, gray box that we've created is going to be dragged with us. So what we can do is we can just say shadow touch point dot, and it'll be the same thing set. And what we could we could say with height, but if we say with height, it's going to be in the bottom right hand corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide them by two. Again, this way it'll be in exactly in the center. Divided by two. And what we can do is we'll actually cast them back to integers. So now we've this ready to go. The last thing we need to do is we need to tell it to draw. So the canvas is the area of the shadow. So literally what just what we say is a gray box. dot draw and draw on that canvas that's all, that's all you have to do for that and we're done so now that's our drag shadow ready so what we're going to do is we're going to create our drag shadow object equals new drag shadow and we're just going to put our view in here and then we can just pass our drag shadow in here done now what's local state the local state we're gonna it's an object object local state so what we can do is we can actually pass whatever object we need so we're gonna pass the view in you know you'll see why this is important later or in the next video but we'll just do that so now in theory this should work we should be able to drag our image around we won't be able to drop it anywhere but we should be able to drag it so I'm gonna start up my emulator and one thing I found very good to do is uh, if I edit this here, make sure to use host GPU. And we'll just click start. And I'll cut to when the actual emulator is fully going. Okay, so what we have here is we have uh, this, our views ready. So if I pick this up, we get our shadow and it's dragging around the image. Now you're probably wondering. Um, Why on earth is it so small? Like, see that one's bigger? Well, remember, it's half the width. And don't forget the view height is, the view height, don't forget, is all of this area here. Because we've set the view's height to be dependent on the, um, to be dependent on the, the weight or the proportion. So it's a dragging around. And there we go, see how it's dragging around? It takes a second for it to come up because you have to long click. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to remove this here, okay, and I'm going to set it to show you the effect of this. Save, and then if we run this again and let it install. See they're now in the bottom right hand corner because we changed the point, the track point. 
Now that doesn't have a drag a listener on it, remember. So if I just reverse that with some nice control Z or undoing, we can do that. So that's that for this video. In the next video, we're going to set up uh, this drop target to actually detect the drop. So anyway, guys, as always, it's been good talk. We'll see you in the next video.